Hello to all my beautiful brothers and sisters. Um, I am back with another message. Um, of course, again, is um led to you know speak on things. I definitely want to do my part and speak on um and shed some light on some things as well in other ways that probably wasn't thought about. So hey, each one to each one, share the knowledge, share the wisdom, you know, go from there. Um, but I do want to say uh Pray everyone is all well, healthy. I'm still underwater, but it's okay. Um, I'm getting through it. So, as you probably already seen, today's message is actually I have two. I think I'm gonna do today, but this one is called "Test Two Baby." Um, it's very. It's called this for a reason. Um, and to not hold anyone up because, like I said, I think I'm gonna do another message. So I don't want to interrogate this too long, but I did have some things I wanted to, you know, address and to, you know, get out and to make known just in case, again, it wasn't shared or looked upon as, wow, that actually does go hand in hand because a lot of this does go hand in hand because it's just history repeating itself. So, and a lot of things that's going on has been said beforehand and we just didn't pick up on it. So, I do want to say something about that. Um, I don't know how many of you are, I may be telling my age on this, but um, actually it was a show called Bay Bay Kids. Um, it was Robin Harris on it and some other people. But Robin Harris, the comedian, uh, the movie Bay Bay Kids came out in 1992. Um, but it's the reason why I bring this up is because he done a part in that movie um, that was very interesting that I thought lined it up with what we starting to see today. Um, again, this movie goes back in 1992. Um, I am gonna show a clip, just a little clip. Um, this is um, just for teaching purposes only um, and not to you know, be rude or anything like that. So I am gonna roll this clip that I wanna show you all. On my, on my phone, so I hope that you can see it. Um, again, the only reason why I'm showing this is because this is Robin Harris in this movie, Bay Bay Kids. And again, this movie was out and came out in 1992. And here we are in 2022, about to be 2023. So, hey, let's just listen to what he says. Just this little clip. Um, it was a it's pretty cool movie. So <laughs> if you want to watch it. Hey, not bad, but this is the clip that I want to show you all. And this is the part that I want to show you. The little clip that he says, test two, baby. Here it is. Right here, baby. Vegas at last. Now, this is my kind of town. Fuck one for the poke one. Six, eight running mates. Box cars don't stretch me out now. Las Vegas in a fag, baby. Pee Wee. Uh, Pee Wee, what, what you doing? Okay, now the reason why I bring that up is because here we have some things going on now. I'm going to show you another clip. In this clip is basically talking about things that's going on now in this world that um it is very interesting um as a matter of fact let me try to find it um I'll go to my youtube right quick okay yeah let's see let's see if i can find it not that one. Not that one. And no, not that one. I know it is here. Let's see. Maybe I'm going to try this way. See if I can find it this way. Because I know I have it. Okay, I'm going to try that way. Okay. 
Now, found it. All right. Here, again, I'm just showing this for educational purposes only. Um, but I am showing this due to the fact of, as you just seen, he just, Robin Harris, which has been now passed away for like 30 years. I'm not exactly 100% sure, but somewhere along the lines of that, he's been dead for years. Um, again, he made that comment, test two, baby. So, and this here is what we are starting to see now in today's world in our time, which is 2022. So about to be 2023. Um, so I wanted to share this video with you all if you have not seen it. Um, again, it's on my phone, so I hope the quality is okay. Um, but it's just to show you how that that was actually said for a reason. And I do believe strongly that the devil, he has to, they have to tell the elites the people that's doing this wickedness and evilness that's, that's upon us, I do strongly, firmly believe that they are, they have to let us know what they're doing before they do it. And, yeah, I really do think that. Um, but it's definitely been going on for years. If we look at the cartoons um, that was bad then, Pinky and the Brain, for example. Again, I might be showing my age again. But the movie, the cartoon, Peaky in the Brain, if you think about that cartoon back then, yeah, as a kid, you just didn't think nothing of it. And then the world that we was in, it was not really known to where that was what was happening or going to take a place. But as we can see, as to what that cartoon was about, it was definitely about brain wanting and trying to take over the world. Now, here we are in today's world again. 2022, about to be 2023. Um, we hear things are going to happen um, as we hit on in 2030s and so on and so forth. That's not going to be good. It's going to get harder and harder, especially for, especially for us that believe in the Most High, Jehovah. So I did want to point that out. Um, as we can see, they want to start this new world order type of stuff. They And like I said, the reason why I bring up Pinky and the Brain is because yeah, it's basically like they want to take over the world. They are in the process. They have started, for those who are eyes to see, they have already started taking over the world. Um, so, and I think it actually started when they canceled that, uh, the, the virus that ended up in, what, 2020? Ever since then, the world been crashed down, ain't been the same since. So that took a lot to play in it, too. But to fun and I do, I'm going to give you this video that I wanted you to see. Again, this is for learning experience and purposes only. Um, it's not to, you know, criticize, but at the same time, it is to point out where we are in, yeah, this is just where we are. And it's just an eye-opener in educational purpose on biblical points. Um, so those who who not understanding this as a biblical side. I pray that this show you and open your eyes to see what it is that this is playing a part with. So I'm going to go ahead and start this. Um, I got a video right now, so as soon as this video goes off, well, come If you're over 40 and you're looking in the mirror and thinking like, and get these what happened to my body? Off. And maybe... Okay. Here we go. Introducing Ectolife, the world's first artificial womb facility, powered entirely by renewable energy. Ectolife allows infertile couple to conceive a baby and become the true biological parents of their own offspring. It's a perfect solution for women who had their uterus surgically removed due to cancer or other complications. With Ectolife, premature births and C-sections will be a thing of the past. Ectolife is designed to help countries that are suffering from severe population decline, including Japan, Bulgaria, South Korea, and many others. The facility features 75 highly equipped labs. Each state-of-the-art lab can accommodate up to 400 growth pods or artificial wombs. Every pod is designed to replicate the exact conditions that exist inside the mother's uterus. 
single building can incubate up to 30,000 lab-grown babies per year. Ectolife allows your baby to develop in an infection-free environment. The pods are made of materials that prevent germs from sticking to their surfaces. Every growth pod features sensors that can monitor your baby's vital signs, including heartbeat, temperature, blood pressure, breathing rate, and oxygen saturation. The artificial intelligence-based system also monitors the physical features of your baby and reports any potential genetic abnormalities. The pods are equipped with a screen that displays real-time data on the developmental progress of your baby. These data are sent directly to your phone so you can track your baby's health from the comfort of your zone. The app also provides you with a high-resolution live view of your baby's development. A special section in the app allows you to watch a time-lapse of your baby's growth and share it directly with your loved ones. Because babies can recognize language and learn new words while still in the womb, Ectolife Growth Pods feature internal speakers that play a wide range of words and music to your baby. Through the app, you can choose the playlist that your baby listens to. You can also directly sing to your baby and make them familiar with your voice before birth. Our goal is to provide you with an intelligent offspring that truly reflects your smart choices. Ectolife improves your bonding experience with your baby. Thanks to a 360 degrees camera that's fitted inside your baby's growth pod, you can use your virtual reality headset to explore what it's like to be in your baby's place. See what they see and hear what they hear. Using a wireless haptic suit connected to your baby's growth pod, you will be able to sense their kicks in the womb and share this experience with your friends and family members. Ectolife, your baby will receive the best nutrients that can support their growth. Each group of pods is connected to two central bioreactors. The first bioreactor contains nutrients and oxygen, which are supplied to your baby through an artificial umbilical cord. Okay. Yeah, as you can tell, it's a pretty long video, but it's called Ectolife. Um, I keyed it in on YouTube. Um, is there worldwide? Everybody can see that. Um, it's called it's a life, it's called a world's first unofficial womb factory. Um, so again, that's what that's called. If you can see that, that's how you can pull that up so you can find it for yourself. Um, I would have played more, but it's just too long of a video. Um, but it just goes to show that we are at a point now, as I said, I showed that only because educational purposes biblical wise. Um, the only reason why I wanted to show that is because this is just showing how we, well, man here on earth are trying to be God. And it's not got to that point to where they not hiding it no more. They don't care who's with it, who's not with it. It's not got to the point. It's like, if you don't, if however you feel about it, you feel about it, but it's here, it's out there. This is what we're doing. We don't care how you feel. Um, but with that being said, it's not cool to be trying to play God because none of us is God or will ever be God or equal up to our father. So the fact that this is thrown and blown it all in our face now. And as I said, Robin Harris made that comment on that movie, 1992, Test 2 Baby. That goes with the video that I just showed as well, Test 2 Babies. Um, so... It's just everything is coming out. Everything is is starting to really show itself. I also have some fish. Uh, yeah, I also have some scriptures that I wanted to point out because you can't go wrong with scripture. Um, I don't have many, but I know it's so many in it, the Bible that um says a lot about this. But I do have what well, like two that I wanted to point out. Um, that I wanted to say. So this one is the first one I'm gonna say. It's in Daniel. Chapter 2, verse 21. It says, he changes time and seasons. Talking about our father. He changes time and seasons. He set up kings and disposed them. 
Pay attention, y'all. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to the discerning. He reveals deep and hidden things. He knows what lies in darkness and light dwells in, with him. Okay, with that being said, the reason why I read that is because it's actually breaking down and it's telling us that our father, he said basically in time, times and seasons changes. Our father remembers in control of everything of all things. Time and season changes. And he said he sets up the kings so they could be dis disposed. They will be exposed and they are being exposed. Now us that's had the eyes to see and the ears to hear, we actually understand and we see him right before our eyes and right before our faces and we see him right hand what it means that our father was saying we would see things near the end time. You can see it clear as day. Every day is getting more and more. So, hey, like I said, this is just for spiritual wisdom and knowledge and understanding. Um I also have another one here that I wanted to read. It's in, that was in 2021, 22. Okay, yeah, 2021, 22. And I want to go back to Daniel again. And wait, where's Daniel? Okay, Daniel. And I had 12. Daniel 12, 4. Okay. Pay attention to what I'm about to read again. It says, but you, this is our Lord, our Father talking to Daniel. But you, Daniel, close up and seal the words of the scroll until the end, until the time of the end. Many will go here and there to increase knowledge. With this being said, that actually breaks down and let us know a lot. Our father was telling Daniel, don't say no more. Don't put no more there in the Bible, in the scripture. Don't put no more out, period. Stop it. Close it. Seal it up until the world is over, until this world is done and it's over with. Until our father says, enough is enough. So he says, seal it. Stop it. Don't say no more. He says, seal that. And he said, many will go here and there to increase knowledge. Some of us, actually, as we can already tell, that video I just showed you about the um, people that showing their wisdom and knowledge, how they take it and they using it in test tube babies and creating things like that, or these AIs and the robots and everything to destroy the world. They take in this wisdom and the knowledge that we have because we're so close to this in time that they are taking their wisdom and their knowledge and they're taking it to use it against us. And then you have us that actually is taking this wisdom and knowledge that we are gaining and we're getting and we're using it for what we're supposed to use it for, which is for what our father put us here to use it for, to actually gather all that we could gather, all the lost souls that we could gather to get everyone that we can before the time comes and before it, uh, the clock runs out and then it's just done. We are here together and to find and seek as many souls and help as many people as we can do that. Um, so, and I, it's a great thing to have the internet because it reaches worldwide. So this is awesome to have um, due to us, most of us that have family and being a mom and a wife. And, you know, you can't really just go up and move around like that, really. So, you know, with that being said, it's just it's just amazing. And it's nice to know that we do have this tool. Again, educational wise purposes. Um, this is for uh, this is actually a way. Basically, our father has. You know, as time went on, their knowledge and it increased, and we now have this technology to be able to teach and show to all and to give everyone that might be lost, that might be confused and didn't see this this way. They actually have now a way to be like, wow, that's an eye opener for me. So I thank the Lord. Thank the Lord for that. And pay attention to how you're using the wisdom and the knowledge that you're getting and that you're gaining. Is you using it for? Uh, for the purposes to make the gain the kingdom of heaven, or is he using it for the devil purposes to actually do his doing, his bidding, and his evilness and wickedness? Because it's one of the two that you're using this actually this um 
this time and you're using this, you know, this education that knowledge and this the wisdom that we now have because we're so close to that time. And as I just read, our father told Daniel, close and seal the book up until the world is done. Pay attention, my brothers and sisters. All this is going on for a reason. And it's not to scare anyone, but it is to let us know that we know what our father, he said, do not fear. When we feel with the Holy Spirit, we know we have nothing but protection of us all day. We are covered by the blood of Jesus. And we know this. And we know, as he said, not even a scorpion could sting us and it will harm us. We know that we will we are okay and we will always be okay because we are not alone. Our father is within us. We know that we are protected. As it says, we have body armor on us at all times. So brothers and sisters, it's not just freaking anyone out or making anyone be like, oh my goodness, yeah. No, be calm. Our father says, with him there's peace. So my brothers and sisters, I just want to just thank y'all for your time. Um, Again, this is educational purposes, um, but again, it's not cool to try to play God whatsoever. That's not on God's side. That's actually on the devil's side. That's on the opposite fence. And with that, you will not see eternal life with that because that's not what our father is about. Our father is the creator of the way that babies are made. Our father is the reason and the creator of the heavens and the earth. He done all this. He, our father don't need help. He doesn't. So for the men to put be put here and to think that this is what they wisdom and knowledge is supposed to be used for, that's not of God. That's the devil. You are a devil's tool and a devil's child when you sit there and does that and when you do this type of stuff. So pay attention, my brothers and sisters. Please don't go in that direction. Open your eyes. Pray. Repent. Come to our Father. Because he's still giving us time. He had, he's given us this mercy and this grace. We, we are saved by grace through faith. And my brothers and sisters, it's not about nothing that we can do or we can say. But it's about everything our father done for us when he was on that cross, when he died and rose again on the third day. It's about that. And it's about how we choose. Yes, it's a choice. You need to live your life for our Father, or you're going to live your life for the devil. Our Father and Most High is who I choose. And I will always choose our Father Most High. Um, so this is why I'm doing what I'm doing with this message. This is why I want to bring light out among this devil, darkness, devilish, wickedness stuff that's trying to be upon us. So I do bring lightness upon this. Um, let's see. I think I had another one. Um, Proverbs, I believe. Uh, Proverbs 2, 6, I think. Okay. It says, for the Lord gives wisdom, and from him, from his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. Our Father, the wisdom and the knowledge and the growth and the time that we're in, this is all for a reason. Everything that's been done, that's been placed in front of us and happening in front of us is done for a reason. It's a blessing to be here to see this in time because, hey, we have been in those chapters of the books or the Bible that's when the New Jerusalem and everything come. I mean, it's just amazing to know that we have been chosen by our Father. Um, I have some other stuff that I wanted to share with you all about this topic. Um, as we know, the world has now got, again, these is the elites, the ones that's on the opposite side of the fence and not for our father. They have the AI robots and they have AI babies. Um, basically, when you, when you start dibbling and dabbling into that type of artificial baby type of stuff you don't know what you get getting truth be told you don't know you don't know it's not going to be a god it don't have a soul uh yeah it's not even a human really um it's not because only a father can put those things in a person 
People, man cannot do this. Only our father can do this. So, yeah, this is just, okay, I'm going off, but here we go. They have men in this world, and they got to the point where they got AI, the robots. They got the um, AI babies. I call them AI babies. I don't care. Um, the test tube babies. I call them AI babies. Um, let's see. Who knows just like who and what they are in? Okay. Yeah, just like you don't know what you're getting, just like the ones that to that uh you know what? You don't know what you got. You really don't know. And that goes with these tattoo babies. You don't know what you got, but you best believe it ain't good. And it ain't no about father. Bottom line. Let's just be honest. I'm not gonna sugarcoat nothing. I'm not gonna hide anything just to make people feel okay. If you're offended by the message, hey, the truth must be revealed. And we must stop and just tell the truth. We can't be tilling ears like TG Jates and like um Joe Austin and all the rest of them. We can't, we can't do that. We have to be a hundred percent honest and real is, is we have to just be a far father. It's time we stand up, stand our ground and stay focused and stay real and be with our father. It's that time. I'm sorry. So as I said again, you don't know what is in them babies and what them babies are and what them babies are going to be about. Is a baby and as they get older, you don't know what them things is going to do. And you, they not nowhere near you because you are human created from our father. Those are not. So, there I go. Um, it says, uh, but they know not, but no, it's not good. Um, it's not for God. When it's something that's within this world, it's not for God. It's for the devil. This world is not, this, this world is the devil's playground. He was kicked here from heaven uh, when he was banded from heaven when he started that whole want to be God and want to be smarter than God. So when he started all that pride and jealousy and I know more than you, yeah, he got, yes, we already know, Angel, Angel Michael, you know, he got cast out and there he went. Him and the fallen angels. So we know that this world that we are on, that's exactly why it's the way it is. It's out of range. It's out of chaos. It's just, it's just getting destroyed more and more because the devil's agenda kills, steal, and destroy. That's all that's going to be happening here in this place on earth. So be prepared for that. But again, as long as you with our father, you are with peace. Always. Um, I know why. I know why. And we now I wanted to ask a question. That's what this is. I wanted I was asking, why are we at the point where we are rather go from being able to experience and do things ourselves in reality? We are actually able to have kids and we are actually able to do things in real life time ourselves. But it's like now the world is going to the point to where it's like they want to be able to do everything fake. Put on, you know, just just a fake world, fake life. Why should we, why do we, why have, I was asking the question, why did we get to that point? Why well, I'd rather have fake than the real. I would rather have the real all day. Give me the real. I don't want the fake. And this is exactly where the world is needed to and where it's already Basically, in the wind, fake, just like virtual cards, fake, just like, um, it's like all this anniversary babies and fake this, fake that, fake world, or fake VR. You in a, you in a whole nother dimension, and everything fake, 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 fake. everything fake. So, yeah, I was asking that question. Um, I don't know why we moved. From the real time world and stop. Okay, the reason why I know why we did move from the real, being able to do things in the real times and enjoying things in the real times, and we end up going to the fake. The reason is because we stop believing and we stop putting our trust in our father. <coughs> Excuse me. Once we started doing that. That's when our father said, you know what? 
enough is enough. Uh, now, it's like once you've done so much, and our father say, I can't take it no more. It's time now that everyone must see that's going to see. The time must come to where, since there's so much wicked deceitfulness and evilness, and now you don't even want to rape, praise me and glorify my name, and you want to put something that's in front of me, or you want to worship other things instead of me, then, okay, it's that time. And as we can see, that's where the world went. This like now people don't want to even know or hear about God. Schools took God all the way out. People don't want to hear anything about God. If you try to tell them the truth about God, they want to sit there and say, you're wrong. You're a liar. You don't know what you're talking about. You just being mean when our father is nothing but the truth. He's the way, the truth, and the life. But, of course, they don't want to hear that. But because we took our father out the equation, not us, but the room took our father out the equation, this is what we got. Now we must have to go through these trials and tribulations, and we must stay strong within them because, you know, it's just part of, because of the run, I got to the point they start, they stop being obedient to our father, and now they want to make their own rules and laws. They want to knock our father out. He's the creator of the heavens and the earth, not me. Um, let's see. Why I want, okay, why you want to live in a fake world? Okay, now I did already explain this. In a fake world, for example, we got the video games, the VR. We got fake food now. Um, we got um, having babies, um, being with our loved ones, the friends. Uh, we got family meetings. Uh, we got new people, um, meeting people the old, the old way. Now you got a new way of doing that. Um, that's not changed. All the way. Human bodies turning into robots. When I say that, I mean like the Neuralink, which is something that um, uh, Elon Musk is basically in the process of doing to you, trying to do to humans. Um, so again, making human body trying to change human bodies into AI robots. I just it's sad. Okay, but keep going. When we have our bodies that God gave us, our God gave us very well, great functioning bodies. Um, he said, matter of fact, when he got done with us, he said it is finished. He knew what he was doing. He created us exactly to what he put us here for. So when he said it is finished, we was complete. We were great. We were good. Our father makes no mistakes. We do all the time. Um, we are the only, we are the way. Okay. We are the way. We are for a reason. We are the way we are for a reason because, hey, they stop believing in God. They stop putting the Bible first. They stop putting our God first, our Father first. They started listening to themselves as if they knew everything. They started to the pride. They started that they wanted to be like God. They, they started that they knew and basically like the devil. Hey, we can do our own stuff. We don't need that. We got our own rules and laws. We don't need that. Ten Commandments. Who cares about that? That's exactly what they done. And this is why we are where we are now. Uh, let's see. We may not get it at the time, but God works in mysterious ways. Um, it is it's for us to become one with him, with, with his understanding. And our purposes is what he have all the answers, because our father do have all the answers. He have all the answers, and he knows all things. Um, so he does know all things. That's very much true. Um, also, too, I have um, all heaven. All heaven. A for, this is all happening for a reason. It all has been written. Um, our Father, the Most High, is coming back. The world is getting set up to that point to where 
our father is coming back and the world's getting set up to that point. Um, it's, it's being staged before our eyes, as a matter of fact. Um, God and God, our father, is about to return and we starting to see and we starting to feel that and know that more and more too. Um, for, for those who have eyes to see. Don't be deceived. Keep eyes on God, on God way, the truth, and the life only. Stop your sins. Repent. Um, be ready to go. Now be ready to have your name in the book of life. Um, so you can have eternal life. So this is just what I wanted to share with you on this message. Again, this is the topic of test two baby. Never thought I would be doing talk like that, but yeah. So hey, history repeats itself. Like I said, um, I don't know who all knows or have seen that um, movie, but um, Robin Harris. I don't know if other people have mentioned that, but yeah, it, that has been said years ago, and now is we can see it's out. So. My brothers and sisters, just stay prayed up, putting our Father first. Love him, praise him, and glorify his name, and be ready. Um, yeah, I just love you all. Thank you for your time, for those, you know, for everyone's time that clicked in, or definitely for those that stayed the whole time. Um, I'll pray that they helped at least one person. Uh, but I love you all. Stay safe. Keep God first. Repent and keep praising our Father. And um, I'll see y'all on the next message. Until then, talk to y'all soon. Bye-bye.